uh, hi everyone and welcome back let's talk about uh, rest of the questions so here we have you can see we are trying to do the destructuring of object here we can actually assign my name to uh, this particular string but here we are trying to do console.log name so name is not any kind of property uh, the destructuring will do the mapping of this object with that and you will get the value of my name not name so we should get reference error because when we unpack this name will be uh, not defined it will be just an uh, it will just throw reference error here uh, this is a pure function pure function is a function that will return same output whenever you are actually uh, passing the same input it doesn't do any kind of read write operation to database or file system it will always be uh, immutable like it doesn't mutate the, the the reference which you are passing so yes we can see some is a pure function here what is the output here we are doing some kind of a caching if number is in the cache otherwise we are actually assigning num inside a cache so if you are trying to do add function this will calculate it then the rest of the function I think it will get from the caching so calculate it 20 then it will get these from the caching only so add function you will see the 10 it is the same argument so first it will see okay I'm not in the caching cache object so it will uh, print it here and then for the remaining two calls it will get it from the cache I think so answer should be C here we are doing a for in loop and for of loop on the array so for in loop will give us the keys so keys will be 0 1 2 3 and for of loop will give the actual values so it will be answer should be A here what we are doing is uh, this is the list and uh, and this is a simple array so right so array values can be evaluated so it should be 3 2 and 1.5 sorry 0.5 answer should be C here what we are doing is console.log say hi and we are not passing name while calling it so name should be undefined it should be uh, hi there undefined answer should be B now another important question is so we have a status and this is set timeout block and here we are calling get status and another we are passing calling get status with passing this as a inside a call so here we are trying to override the context of this inside this function so here we are calling data dot get status so this is our object data and we are calling get status here so data dot get status it will actually try to get the value this dot status which should be coming from the this scope only so it should it should print uh, status because this dot status is this and when you are calling it by when you are actually doing dot call and passing this context it means you can access this dot state from the global scope which is available here so I think it should be B yes so this dot get status currently it will point to the data object so status will be this and when you override the context using dot call it will point to this status okay so here what we are doing is person object person dot city which is undefined and then you are uh, copying you are assigning city uh, Amsterdam which is getting added to the global scope and we are doing console.log person so person is not impacted because you are not append a uh, modifying the property of person object so it should be a only now check is we are passing this 21 and we are trying to print the message the important thing here is we have this constant message and trying to print it here let and const can't be accessed outside the block so it should be the reference error C right because we are trying to access it message here but this is not available here now what kind of information would be logged this is this will return promise we are doing dot then then dot then the result of the fetch method now 
द रिजल्ट वुड बी ए सेकेंड इन्वोकेशन ऑफ फैच मैथड द रिजल्ट ऑफ अ कॉल बैक इन द प्रीवियस डॉट दैन यस सो वाट एवर वी आर गेटिंग हियर वी आर डूइंग अ डॉट दैन सो द रेस्पॉन्स इज प्रिंटेड वाट एवर वी आर रिसीविंग फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस कॉल बैक द आंसर शुड बी सी ओके विच ऑफ द ऑप्शन इज अ बेस्ट वी टू सेट हैज नेम इक्वल टू ट्रू सो नेम नो दिस इज नॉट आई मीन हैविंग सम वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज ट्रू दी बट दैट डजेंट मीन इट्स अ बुलियन ट्रू राइट सो नेम डॉट लेंथ इज अ न्यूमेरिक वैल्यू सो यस दिस विल ऑलवेज बी ट्रीटेड एज अ बुलियन आर दर ट्रू और फॉल्स सो ए शुड बी फाइन so in in javascript when you try to evaluate it like this a string with passing index and it will return the index of that character so it should be i here we are actually trying to print some ten we are passing so in the default argument you can also initialize the other argument based on the previous argument so name 2 will be assigned with the same value as name 1 so output should be 20 okay that is correct Uh, coming to this, here we have module dot js. Here we are importing a module and trying to print it. So in this module, most of the time what we do is either we or we do a default export or we do a named export. Means either you will have only a default default export from a file. Here we have both. Here we have a named export, a name variable, and default export this function. So if you try to print the data. Which is everything which you are exporting from the module dot js, and it should be this is the default export, this is the named export. So output should be a. Oh, that is correct. Now, type of member. It's a constructor function, right? So member should be object. Simple. This is the class. We are creating the object of it. Member of member is an object. new list dot push we we already discussed that dot push will always return the new length of array so dot push new list will be a number numeric value and the output is 4 so you can't do a numeric value dot push so output will be d okay here we have uh, these uh, two functions one is arrow function one is the normal function so normal function dot prototype will points to a constructor and the arrow function dot prototype will points to undefined so output should be d okay here we have a person object in the person object we have object dot entries so object dot entries will give us an array of key value pair x and y so x and y should object dot keys object dot values object dot entries these are the different methods right so object dot entries will give us the key value pair e so x and y should be a uh, name aladia and a is 21 so answer should be a okay now get items right so get items we are passing these we are calling this function and we have these arguments so always remember in the function definition you should use this rest parameter as a last argument so because what we are doing i have the first argument second argument and rest of the arguments i am calling them as a uh, rest parameter argument ergs so it should be a syntax error i think because argument should be the last uh, argument in the function do d yeah so argument is a rest parameter and it should be the best if we are keeping it at the last it is the output here so we are calling nums 4 2 4 is greater than 2 so console dot log b it will print console and when you are not specifying finding any semicolons then uh, javascript will automatically put semicolon at the end of the line so that means it is returning undefined this function is returning undefined so it should be so a is bigger undefined then by calling this it will print b is bigger and again undefined so whenever you write return always write the return statement in the same line i mean at at least the 
starting of that string here we kept that line empty so that means it is returning undefined here we have person class and here we have person as a variable assigning this is anonymous class we assigned this other other person class to the person now we are creating the object yes this is how you can create the object of the person it is same as anonymous class or anonymous function member dot name is sara so it should be b info right so info and there is a symbol and there is a value we already discussed about this object dot keys can't get the keys which are symbol it's because symbols are non enumerable properties of an object so info will be symbol a and b and object dot keys will be empty array object dot keys for in loop cannot look for those properties which are enumerable false and symbols can't be can't, are not enumerable the output should be d now this thing get list get user so get list we are passing the arrow function it is it is returning x and y user is this is another function get user we are passing user and returning name and age let's see get list and list we are passing array so in that case it should return x as one and rest of the argument are treated as a y as an array so it should be one two three four as an array i think one one and two three four because y is considered as an array one two three four and then name is this is is this will be okay it is a y let's see this so get user and it is returning this object name is user dot name and age is user dot age we can see get user we are passing user object it is taking user object and it is returning user dot name and user dot age okay like this is little strange let's see the explanation okay the get user function uh, receives an object with arrow function we don't uh, write the curly brackets if we just return one value however if you want to return okay okay yeah so this mistake we have done if you want to really return an object right you have to wrap it inside a returned object into a brackets if you want to return an object from an arrow function you have to write between the parenthesis otherwise no value get returned okay so it's not returning anything for us so it's considered as undefined uh here what would be the output name name is a variable we can't call it should be a syntax error type error so name holds the value of a string which is not a function thus can't invoke yeah i mean it's a syntax error okay so here we have 100th question output is dollar array and i am okay this is a string not null this is also empty object so it will just return not it will return i am possible i mean impossible if we concat both the string and you should you should see a therapist because it's empty string so it will become false so yeah impossible you should see a therapist okay coming to this what will be the value of output 1 2 3 okay false empty bracket so this false this is an object so it will become true so any of this is true then it will return that value so empty object i think second is null null is al already a false false and two will be empty quotes i think because uh, null false and false and okay let's see third one 
it is object zero is false and true so this will be considered as a value so the output of this is correct and first is correct so output should be c okay here we go 102 here we have one my promise promise dot resolve first function my promise dot then console dot log second then there is a second function so first function we are calling so it should return uh, console dot log response I have resolved second so it should print second I have resolved the output should be D second I have resolved and I have resolved second yes I mean when you are doing await then you have to wait until this promise is resolved then it will print second here it will print second first and then it will print I have resolved okay uh, so these are pretty much uh, for this video rest we will cover in the, the last video.